Let's see if I can yeah. get it right in front of them. Let me see if I can squeeze right behind. Good right here. You're fine. I'm good. Yeah, you're not. too far from the scene. Is everybody ready? Alright. Alright. Okay. Everybody set? Stand by. Hi, I'm Ron Lindbay, the Director of Investigations of Homeland Security at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. I'm here to talk to you about a call we're working in the 900 block of A. Philip Randolph Boulevard. So today at about 1235, a call came in concerning multiple um, people being shot in the 900 block of A. Philip Randolph Boulevard. Responding officers found five people shot at the scene who were transported to local hospitals by rescue paramedics. A sixth victim was transported to a hospital in a private vehicle. So that gives us a total of six adults who were shot. They range in age from 20s to 70s, and five of the victims are male and one is a female. Detectives have learned from witness interviews and nearby video surveillance that the suspects arrived in a gray or silver four-door sedan, possibly a Nissan Altima or Maxima, that fled westbound on Pippin after the shooting. The shooter fired from the passenger side of that vehicle. They're working on cleaning up a, a photographic image of that vehicle for release to you later. At this point, we're investigating what may have led up to the shooting, including the possibility that this may be gang related based on information obtained in the early stages of the investigation. The crime scene remains active and the area around the 900 block of APR will remain closed for some time. This is, it's not closed due to any type of an active threat. It's closed due to the crime scene investigation that's going to be ongoing. But with that, any Jaguar fans who may be parked within this investigative perimeter will be escorted in to get their cars after the game. That won't be an issue. So detectives will continue the investigation and will continue to work the scene, but we need information about the incident from those who were here around the time of the shooting. Once again, that was around 1235 this afternoon. So please call 630-0500 with any information that you may have or Crime Stoppers with any information should you wish to remain anonymous. Mr. Lynn, did you know that it happened inside the laundromat or where exactly? This happened outside on the sidewalk. And was it a drive-by shooting? Still investigating that, whether the car stopped and somebody got out or somebody fired from the car, that's all still uh, subject to investigation, so I can't confirm that yet. Any the condition of the happened? victims? I'm sorry? The victims, how are they right now? A couple of them were in very serious condition when they went to the hospital. The conditions can be changed, obviously, once they get triaged and stabilized at the hospital. So I don't have current conditions, and I wouldn't want to release that. Yes, ma'am? Any idea how many shots might have been fired, sir? That's still part of the investigation. Obviously, there were multiple shots since we have multiple victims. Um, but it's the exact number is still being determined. Do how many suspects do you believe are right now? I'm still working through that. Um, I don't have a solid number, and I don't want to give you... Um, bad information. We believe, like I said, that the shots came from somewhere around the passenger side of the vehicle, whether that person was inside or outside, so that tells us there's at least two, but there could have been more. How will this impact game traffic after, after the game is over? Um, well, a APR is going to be closed. It's not a major thoroughfare, as most of you probably know, so I don't expect major impacts. They are making adjustments and communicating information at the stadium related to that. But those folks that are coming back to get their vehicles will be able to get them from the investigative perimeter. And a possible Nissan Altima, you said? Yeah, a, a, a gray or silver Nissan sedan, possibly an Altima or a Maxima, one of those types of vehicles. And you could have a photo by the end of the day that we could share with the public? They're working on getting one cleaned up from the surveillance in the area, yes. Well, we're still going through surveillance video, so it would be premature to be able to characterize it that way. What were the victims doing when they were wounded? Were they la doing laundry or just hanging you know, out? The victims were, were obviously all transported to the hospital for medical treatment, so you know most of them um, haven't even been interviewed at this point in time. So still working our way through this in the early stages. JSO tweeted earlier that there were three critical. Uh, any reason to believe that that may have changed since? 
I, I just don't know. They could have been stabilized at the hospital, and I certainly hope they were, but I just I don't have any further information on them. How many suspects were in that gray silver four-door sedan? Uh, we don't know for sure. Um, you know, somebody obviously was driving the vehicle. We believe the shooter came from the passenger side, so once again, at least two, but there could have been more people in the car, and there could even be additional shooters. I don't want to, you know, mischaracterize that either. So that's all still being investigated with witnesses and with video that's recovered. Any other question? Scene. And you said yes. as far as the victims go, you said it was five men and, and one woman. Yes. Do you believe that they know, knew each other? You know, since we're, we're you know, we haven't been able to interview them all because they're being medically treated, it's it's hard to say if they're all associated um, or not. You know, it's just it's too early to say. Any indication if the shooters were using a handgun or possibly a rifle or shotgun? Still, still investigating that, and I don't have a conclusive answer for that yet. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Director. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. And <coughs> Stand by.